Wow. Log on and I'm live on Facebook. Hey, what time it is? What time is it? It's game time, baby. It's showtime. What time is it? It's showtime. It's showtime, baby. Uh, by the way, folks, this show is about lawyers, and we're going to do an official introduction, but we like to just pep it up a bit. I am David Squeezanik here. I'm just a broadcaster in New York, probably one of the most powerful Caribbean broadcasters. Nah. But anyway, I got the most powerful man when it comes to personal injury in the tri-state area. Hey, his name is Adam Handler. Adam, can you uh, intro the show for us as we get ready? Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Adam Handler. They call me the case handler. Why? because I will handle your case. I'm a third generation attorney. I'm a partner of the firm Pollock Pollock, Isaac and DeSico here in downtown Manhattan. I head up the personal injury department. Uh, we have immigration, criminal defense, matrimonial, real estate, employment law. We are a full service law firm here. You got a legal question, we got a legal answer. You got a legal problem, we got a legal solution. All you got to do is keep our number, save our number, and have to use it when you need to. 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. This is a show we do every day, Monday, well, should I just say Monday through Friday, consistently, 9.30 a.m. for a half hour on 93.5 FM, and then continuing on Facebook and uh, other social media platforms. We appreciate you being here. And guess what? You are now officially cruising with the case handler. Today, I'm with my partner, Nelson Madrid. We call him the Maverick. Why? Because he flies by his own rules. He doesn't give a damn what immigration says. If you need your uh, case, if you need your status legitimized here in the United States, he's going to help you. If you're facing deportation proceedings, he's going to help you. If you want to make adjustments to your status or file for somebody, he's going to help you. But again, you got to have that number saved. We are giving 100% free advice over the phone. That's correct. 100% free, no strings attached, phone consultations. But again, you got to call our number. Unless you call us, we won't know you're out there. We won't know you need our help. Take this number down. It could be the most important number that you dial in this year, 2020 one of the most difficult and trying years that any of us have ever been through. You want to better yourself? You want to better your family? Listen to me. Call us. You've got nothing to lose and everything to gain. You have an immigration question you want answered for free? You call us. You got a personal injury question you want to answer for free? You call us. A matrimonial? You call us. A criminal? You call us. An employment? You call us. There's no question too silly. Trust me, ladies and gentlemen, we've been in practice. The firm's been in practice for nearly 60 years. I've been in practice for 17 years. Uh, Nelson's been in practice for almost 14 years. You're not gonna say anything that surprises us. Maybe once in a while, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll have a fact pattern that we haven't heard in quite some time, but you're not gonna shock us. You're not gonna offend us. You're not gonna embarrass yourself. Call the number 844-774-3529 or 844-PP. I D law 844 P P I D law P P I D stands for our firm Pollock Pollock Isaac DeSico and I think I know the answer to this question already but I shall ask just to make Nelson smile squeeze are you down with P P I D come on you know me <laughs> yes ladies and gentlemen we're all powered up we're all fired up David Squeeze Adam is who I am I need for everybody right now stop you're watching Facebook you're listening 93.5 stop everybody stop this focus is on Facebook right now as we, of course, you know, do this. Because I know the radio listeners, you're in your cars and all of that. Don't want you fooling around on the app. I want you, who is watching us on Facebook right now, do us a favor, please. Can you actually just share? See if you find that share button at the bottom right there. Yeah, right right there. Yeah, right there. Okay, let's click on it. All right? Now, it says you can share the groups. You can share on timelines. You can share. I need for you, please, to share with as many people as you know. Okay, just sharing groups, sharing pages, sharing to your friends and say, hey, they're about to talk about immigration. Hey, they're about to talk about personal injury. Hey, this is a full service law firm. God forbid we need attorneys to represent us. Please share. The number once again is 844-774-3529. However, the Facebook links, of course, you're on my page, David Squeeze Anarchy. But the most important page happens to be the Case Handler page and the law firm Paula Pollock, Isaac and DeSico. Those are the go-to pages when you need attorneys. That's the case handler or 
Pollock, Pollock, Isaac, and the Seeker. Just type in PPID law and it will just pop up. Now let's get the show on the road, but first things first, this is extremely important. This is probably the most important thing of the day. No offense, Mr. Uh, Madrid, but you look very, very, very much like an attorney today. All right, I'm not saying that you don't look like an attorney the other day, but you look so much like a freaking attorney today, man. <laughs> Listen, I uh, I had to cut my hair. It's a, a lot less maintenance, uh, just obviously having no hair than having a lot of hair. Um, so yeah, I, I got a cut. It's obviously very short. Uh, but I, I knew you would say something because when I signed <laughs> in, I, I saw you with a big smile on your face like, oh. <laughs> so, yeah. You know it was coming. You look like <laughs> anyway. a baby. Yeah, I know. But anyway, let's jump right into it. It's 25 minutes before the hour of 10 o'clock. Welcome to each and every one. Let's jump right into it. Nelson, I'm going to let you jump off with immigration. Let's start off with immigration. We'll come back in a few minutes and we'll talk to my man, Adam Handler. Um, I need for him to give us a true success story because it's testimonial what, Nelson? Testimonial Tuesday. Yeah. All right. So what's going on with immigration? Any updates you want to give us as to what's happening in that world? Anything you can do for all the people that's out there tuning in? You know? Sure. So basically... Um, Immigration proceedings, if you are in immigration court and are on the non-detained docket, cases have been postponed through October 23rd of this year. Um, I, I'm not sure anyone knows exactly when the immigration court for non-detained cases will open or will resume. Stay tuned. Um, we basically get updates, I'd say every week, every couple of weeks. Um, again, but at the moment, it's unclear when immigration court for non-detained cases will resume. Um, immigration is obviously reopened. Uh, we are actually doing naturalization interviews, uh, adjustment of status interviews. Um, you know, again, you know, immigration is open for business. Uh, we can help many people, not only with their questions, but obviously if they have a case and they decide to go forward. Uh, this is something we can definitely do. So give us a call, 844-774-3529. Absolutely. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we're here. Now, I want to I want to jump on one of, I think, in a, in a, and you can correct me if I'm incorrect. You can correct me, rather. Um, Mr. Madrid, a.k.a. Maverick. Um, one of the most common ways that we see that a lot of immigrants here in the United States have been getting their status sorted out is getting married in a bona fide um, marriage or relationship. All right. Can you expand on a little bit about why people should not necessarily try to do those cases themselves and how does it work? Um, does it work the same way if they marry someone with a green card? Does it work the same way if they marry someone who is a citizen? You know, so, so that's a, a good question. Um, and it obviously there, there's a lot of other variables that come into play. You know, are they marrying here in the United States? Are they marrying abroad? Are they consular processing? Are they doing adjustment of status? Um, but let's talk about, you know, obviously filing for adjustment of status here within the United States. Um, if you marry a citizen, if you entered on a visa or you were admitted or inspected when you entered the United States and you marry a citizen, um, you are eligible for adjustment of status. Um, you know, if you were married to the person for less than two years at the time you applied, uh, you would receive what's called a conditional green card, which is valid for two years. Three years before the expiration of that green card, you can file to remove the conditions and become a permanent resident. Um, you know, as Adam mentioned earlier, I've been doing this for quite some time. Uh, one of the benefits, I believe, in hiring an attorney is there are no surprises. You know, I think a lot of people take for granted that because they're married, they're eligible for an immigration benefit. You know, it is up to the client to demonstrate that their marriage is in fact a bona fide marriage. You know, simply having a child doesn't necessarily mean it's a bona fide marriage. Um, there are certain documents immigration likes to see. There are certain documents immigration requires. Um, when you have an attorney involved, typically, both the client and the attorney are supposed to receive are supposed to receive notices. Uh, there are many instances where only the attorney will get the notice. There are instances where only the client will get notice. 
Um, I think it's just, it's a, it's a good way to make sure you get the notice you're supposed to receive. I have heard of many cases where people file on their own, don't show up to the appointment because they never got the appointment notice and now their case is denied and they have to refile. So it's uh, just something to consider and take into account. Um, for those people who enter the United States illegally or without inspection, if you are married to a permanent resident or a United States citizen, it is a different process uh, by which they can legalize their status. Nevertheless, it's a process we are quite familiar with and a process we have done many, many times over the last several years. Um, it's too long of a process to get into, um, but again, there is hope and there is a way for these people to legalize their status. If you entered with inspection, or, or you were admitted, you entered with a visa and you are married to a permanent resident, um, you are eligible for adjustment of status, um, but you will likely need a waiver um, because you've obviously accrued unlawful presence. Being married to a permanent resident is a priority. Uh, I'm sorry, it's a preference category. Um, it's not an immediate relative as if you were married to a citizen. So it's a little more complicated, but doable nevertheless. Gotcha. Conrad, anything, anything you'd like to add? Ah, I thought you covered that very well. And good morning. Yeah, I tried. Good morning, Mr. Conrad. Pollock is in the building. Another attorney has joined us, all right? The managing partner of the firm, Pollock, Pollock, Isaac, and the Sequel. All right, great. Thank you so much for expounding on that, you know, and you cleared up even the, the follow-up question that I had, Nelson. I was going to say, does this marriage situation apply to anyone? What about you know, people who get in a ship, then they get off a ship. Are those people valid? Can they do? But you cleared it all up about people. So, so actually, got... actually, ship, a crewman is a little different. It's a little mm -hmm. complicated. Um, you know, again, a lot has changed with immigration. Mm -hmm. We have been able to help those people legalize their status in the past. Um, unfortunately, there are new rules, a lot of changes. Um, you know, crewmen have a lot of restrictions, uh, but this is definitely something someone should not try to do on their own. And if you do do it on your own, give us a call when you get put into removal proceedings after your case gets denied. I like the way you put that. He's such an attorney, man. <laughs> These guys are great. Okay. After you screwed up on your own. Yeah. Just, just in call case. for the free phone way, consultation. Yeah. By the way, if you're listening to this radio program now and you're just joining us, this show is about speaking with attorneys at the law firm PPID, Paula Pollock. Paula Pollock, Isaac in the Sea Code. And we're talking about immigration right now. We're coming back and we're going to be speaking on personal injury. But they're very serious. In other words, as the managing partner, you know, Conrad Pollock would say, immigration is a freaking minefield. Why would you want to do it by yourself? Is it because you're cheap? No. Maybe it's more so because you were told by your, your, your parents, maybe you were told by your brother, your sister, your mom, your dad, your friend, your enemy, you know, the guy on the Eastern Parkway and Gunner Road, that you can do it by yourself or that they can help you. You don't want to do that. I can't tell you. I can't count the amount of times I have had to, you know, transfer calls from my side, okay, call the attorneys because people screwed up their cases, got put in removal proceedings, and is getting bent over. You don't want that. So just call the law firm, please. The consultation is free. You have nothing to lose to get a free consultation. The number to call, ladies and gentlemen, is 844-774-3529. The man who just spoke, Nelson Madrid, I call him the Maverick. You can call him that too. Ask for him. Say, yo, I want to speak with the Maverick. I want to talk to my brethren, Nelson, okay? You can talk some Jamaica, and I'm teaching these guys Jamaicans, you know. Adam is already there, you know? You know, so, you know, I want to talk to the Maverick. I want to talk to the maestro. I want to hear the guys that with a big voice on the radio. Call them, please, for your own sake. And don't follow what that guy Trump is doing with just screwing over people and all of that stuff. You don't want to do none of that. Stay the course, stay on the right path, and that path is PPID. Here is the number. If you call before 10 a.m., I personally guarantee you that you will get a free consultation with an attorney about your immigration situation. The number, 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. We just spoke on 
you getting your situation legalized, your status legalized and sorted out here in the United States, it may not and will not happen for everyone right now. But as I said, Nelson just explained that in a, in a very, very, very great way. Welcome, Conrad. I know you want to drop, throw in a few words before we jump into Testimonial Tuesday for the personal injury side. Anything you got to say on the immigration side or on the Conrad side? Because, you know, we, we know, we all know you got a side, you know. We got to give you your two minutes into the show to <laughs> say what you want to say here. Actually, no, I'm, uh, I'm just enjoying listening and I apologize for getting here late. I was listening on the radio, actually, in, in my car. Um, but um, no, I thought uh, Mr. Madrid did a fine job explaining uh, and responding to that question that was asked. Um, and um, no, I, uh, I have nothing to add at this point, pre-coffee. <laughs> pre-coffee. Can you believe that, Nelson? Okay, Conrad is, has, did you guys bring him into the conference room and say, can you just not say anything about the color so orange? Today. <laughs> I, I know, right? <laughs> but anyway, let's just flip it over from immigration. We'll come back later on. We have a bunch of questions for the attorneys, Nelson Madrid and Conrad Pollock to answer. But let's flip it over to another attorney that runs a department at the firm. And that's all he does at this, uh, at the firm as a partner. Personal injury. What is it? Who should call? When should you call? Adam Handler, the floor is all yours. The Zoom is all yours. All right. Well, again, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for tuning in. 93.5 listeners. Uh, it's been a, a great run we've had for the past 15 plus years. And I'm happy that you have called me your case handler. Happy that you've considered me to be your one and only uh, family attorney and have followed me from uh, one firm to another six years ago. I can't believe it's uh, coming upon six years that I left my prior firm and, and started my own practice and brought it here uh, to Pollock, Pollock, Isaac DeSico. That said, uh, 93.5 listeners, if you can do so safely now or later, check out Case Handler and PPID on uh, Facebook or Instagram. You'll be connected uh, to our practice. You'll really see firsthand with your own eyes uh, uh, what we do here and how we, we, we we really change lives forever. You know, I, I've said it many, many times. What we do here is nothing short of extraordinary. Uh, Life-changing money in situations where you've had life-changing injuries. And under the civil system here in the United States, the only remedy you and your family have, if you are the victim of negligence, is monetary compensation. And I personally have done that over 125 million times in my career, over the thousands of clients I've helped, uh, well over 125 million in career earnings for my clients. Uh, this year alone, uh, nearly 20 million, nearly 20 million in 2020, and never would have thunk it. Uh, when we got the call and when Conrad and my other partners, Fred and Brian, we, we made the decision to, to shut down the firm and work remotely, I was I was concerned. I was concerned to say, how are we going to serve our clients? How are we going to make sure that and we- By can the way, not shut down the firm. No. Yes. Shut Go read I just thought I'd this, correct this, that for this, you. This <laughs> office. Shut down the office. Yeah. Yeah. Shut down the physical office. I was concerned how we are going to keep up that excellent work we do for our clients, both on the immigration side and the personal injury side. Immigration side speaks for itself, man. I mean, we've taken hundreds and hundreds of phone calls hundreds of phone consultations for 100% free of charge, helping people, giving them the advice, and then the people that could help and were smart enough to know that we are the thoroughbred, you wanna to ride to the finish line in your immigration case, they've hired us. Same thing with personal injury. Um, we were able to, with the wonders of technology and I think a, a lot of dedication on the part of myself and Matthew, my associate, my paralegal, Sandra, Ralston, Rollin and Sandy, you know, really keeping our eyes on the prize. And that's why we're almost at 20 million this year. Uh, so far, uh, our, our second best year ever in our firm's history for personal injury. And I wanted to talk about one quick case because uh, as Nelson did mention earlier, it is Testimonial Tuesday. And Testimonial Tuesday, I think is one of the most important days of the broadcast because it reminds me to let everybody out there know, don't take my word for it. Don't take Squeeze's word for it. Don't take you know, other DJs on this radio station that have endorsed me over the years, they don't take their word for it. Take the words of those individuals that have come before you that had a terrible accident, life-changing situation, 
and we obtained a successful result. They were smart enough to have our number saved and they had thousands of choices of attorneys. They could have picked any attorney they hear on the top of the hour or on a billboard or a referral from a friend, but they knew it for themselves, who they wanted to call if God forbid they're in that situation. And let's just talk about one perfect example of that. Squeeze, can you make me a, a sharing? Uh, can you let me share brother? All right, well, while Squeeze get, gives me the ability to share uh, my own show, which I'm certainly grateful for, uh, I'll, I'll just say Testimonial Tuesday again is a true life success story. Done, you can share. It is the real deal. It is exactly, you know, what you should go you guys by. Guys are brutal. Hey, we are brutal. Listen, this is this is a no nonsense show. We got to get the we got to get the word out. We got we got time is time is uh is money here, baby. And squeeze if you could read that quote for me, uh, from Dylan from Elman, I would be uh, most appreciative. And you got to unmute yourself. I didn't expect my case to turn out this good. They were excellent. If you get hurt, call them. They will make sure you'll be all right. And this is Dylan from Elmond. And ladies and gentlemen, can you believe, as you know, Adam lambasted me and beat me up for just taking a call off here, which rightfully so. Uh, would you believe that Dylan got a settlement of $925,000 for this construction accident? You know, seriously speaking, and, and Adam, give me 30 seconds here. That is the reason why, as you listen to this radio station, that is the reason why, as you watch us on Facebook, and that is the reason why, yeah, we go back and forth sometimes, a, a joke here, a joke there, but no, this is a no-nonsense situation. This is a no-nonsense firm. If you get hurt in an accident, this is the reason why you need Adam Handler, the personal injury attorney. I call him the shark. He will fight tooth and nail. He got Dylan $925. Thousand dollars, and that's the reason why I've been bragging about him for 15 solid years, Mr. No Nonsense Adam Handler. Take the reins. Yeah, listen, this is a, a big settlement. Um, it's not even in our top 10 for the year, which is incredible to think. Uh, but this is a gentleman that was uh, working on the job um, uh, as a laborer, um, working on a project involving the MTA East Side Tunnel. Uh, he was over in Long Island City working in one of the vents and his ladder tipped, he fell off, he broke his uh, wrist, he broke his knee and he broke his elbow. Um, made an excellent recovery from his injuries, but he was out of work for a couple of years. We got all the work, uh, all the time out of work paid through workers' compensation. Uh, we got all his medical bills paid through workers' compensation. And on top of that, got him a $925,000 settlement, 925 grand tax free money. This is a gentleman that was probably making no more than $50,000 a year, working his ass off every day, in and out, struggling, sweating, in the rain, in the, in the snow, uh, in the heat, uh, and, and caught a very bad break at the job. They, of course, tried to blame him for the accident, which we were able to, uh, to prove otherwise. And ultimately, uh, this case settled recently, only a few months ago, for $925,000, a, a case we're really proud about. Most importantly, a great guy, uh, didn't want his, fo his photo shown because uh, of the incredible sum of money he obtained. But he's listening right now, I'm sure, always does. That's how he had the number, 844 seven seven four three five two nine that's eight four four seven seven four three five two nine protect yourself from being a victim twice rest assured ladies and gentlemen you will wake up in the morning you will never think that you're getting into an accident at work falling off a ladder and breaking bones but that stuff happens and the best way to prevent yourself from being a victim twice is to have that number saved the mta tried to screw him his job tried to screw him the contractor and the job tried to screw him. Everybody was against him. Everybody's reports were saying he did this wrong, he did that wrong, but they were inconsistent. They never got their story straight. So we were able to prove that one inconsistent story makes sure it could mean that every story is inconsistent. And that's why we got him nearly $1 million, $925,000 for another case handler client. And it was our pleasure to do so. I'm surprised he didn't go for the additional 75K, knowing you. 
my brother, listen, they didn't want to pay, more, they didn't want to pay more than four, 400,000. So the fact that we got 925, I mean, I remember there was one point in the negotiation where I called the client and they were up to 600 grand. He's like, take it, take it, take it. I'm like, pump the brakes, dude. There's more money there. $925,000 for a couple of broken bones. Uh, I, I challenge you to find a, a better result these days, especially when the courts aren't even open, Squeeze. Absolutely. And once again, Adam Handler, the case handler, if you ever get hurt in any accident, he's one of the individuals you got to call after emergency. The number is 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. 844-PPIDLAW. And I want to disclaim and make something very clear when you're calling PPID. Whenever you call PPID, the attorneys are either in court, busy with other clients, busy with cases, and so forth. All you need to do when you call 844-774-3529 for that phone consultation is schedule it. Schedule the phone consultation with the attorney. That's how it works. You must call and boom. It's not like Nelson is sitting there saying, hey, I'm ready for your call. Yeah, he was. He was he's on with another person. I mean, if 500 people call Nelson at the same time, he can't clone himself yet. He's working on it. So what you got to do, yes, because a lot of people are calling and everybody wants, you know, the attorney to speak to them immediately. Book, schedule your appointment, your phone consultation appointment with one of the attorneys. And I've been telling you, I did promise you way before that you should start calling. Now everybody is tying up with the attorneys. No, it's call now and get your appointment scheduled for your phone consultation. You want, to, you want the number? Here's the number, 844-774-3529. And if an attorney is not immediately available, once again, David Squeeze Anarchy, Disclaim it on behalf of PPID and myself. Schedule your appointment. All right? We know how us Caribbean people get. Well, they're not there. So I'm just going to hang up the phone. No, 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 no. Schedule it. Let's be professional. They are attorneys working on multiple cases. Very busy law firm. 844-774-3529. Um, gentlemen, you, you want to add to that or anything, guys, before we get to the top? All right. Well, I, I wish I wish I was fortunate to work on multiple cases, working on many, many cases, <laughs> working on many cases. And I think we've done a great job at actually getting back to these people. Um, as you said, unfortunately, we are busy and are not waiting by the phone, you know, for people to call to automatically take their call. So I want to thank you for clarifying that while we're on the air. All right. Once again, ladies and gentlemen. You know, this is a show that is called Cruising with the Case Handler, a show that Adam Handler and I put together, Adam Handler being your personal injury attorney. It has been a, a phenomenal, phenomenal show as far as calls coming in. Remember to book those phone consultations, schedule them with an attorney, and they'll get back to you. Or, of course, you can call at a specific time. I want to remind people out there, it's extremely important that you understand this because at the top of every hour on this station, evidently there is an attorney doing something. I can't vouch for those. And everyone thinks that when they hear, you know, this show, they think that this show is the same show as the show that comes after or later on and everything. We're all not one and the same where the shows are concerned. And not that there's anything wrong with any of the shows. As a matter of fact, I think they're great shows, phenomenal shows, and we all have our purpose. However, some people are getting it twisted and confused. The firm that I associate myself with is PPID, Pollock, Pollock, Isaac, and DeSico. Note the name, PPID. The man who has been the longest running, most consistent attorney on this station that has settled over $125 million in cases is Adam Handler. And he's with the firm PPID. So I know some of you are just tuning in and you're checking in and say, oh, it's just one station. And it's just, no, this is what we call broken radio. It's fragmented radio programming. So I wanted to clear that up so people understand what this is all about. I am David Squeeze Anarchy. I'm one of the great broadcasters on this station and there are great broadcasters here. But I can only vouch for one company when it comes to immigration, that's PPID. Obviously and evidently the man who has been the longest running attorney and the most celebrated attorney on the station, Adam Handler, I can only vouch for him when it comes to personal injury. And I want for you all to understand, here is the phone number. 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. 3529 844-774-3529. And the reason why I brought this about is that people are getting confused. 
All right. And I don't want anyone to get confused. And that is the reason why throughout all of my programming all over the station, I keep speaking about the attorneys at different intervals. All right. To make you understand that PPID, Pollock, Pollock, Isaac, and the Seco is the firm that's handling your immigration and your personal injury that I believe that you should actually use. Call and schedule a phone consultation with an attorney. The number once again is 844-774-3529. You get hurt in an accident, do not go to another attorney. I can't vouch for them. I don't know what they have done. Adam Handler, 844-774-3529. 844-774-3529. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you call 844-774-3529. Not the ones at the top, like this. All right? It's 10 o'clock. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Guys, all right? This is David Anarchy. All right? I'm quite sure I'm going to get a call from the station in a second or two. All right? Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you keep it locked right here. Gentlemen, are you ready to get into some immigration questions? Sure. Right, no problem. We are on fire this morning. It's another overcast day. Let's go to the WhatsApp group and see what we have in the group right now, ladies and gentlemen, and get these questions answered. All right, let's jump into the first question. All right. Uh, I am waiting for my CR1 visa and have recently moved to a new country, not the US, as my work sent me here. I wonder why I didn't just put the country. My DQ is September the 9th, 2020 and I'm expected to work till mid 21. Is it possible for me to move the interview location from my home country to the country I'm currently in as I haven't gotten the interview letter yet and the case is still at NDC? If so, can anyone specify where I can look up that information? Well, first off, there's no sure, it's not a sure thing that he's going to be interviewed. If he submitted sufficient, sufficient documentation to demonstrate that it's a valid marriage, uh, there shouldn't be an interview. If there's an interview at that point, once he's scheduled, he can contact the immigration service and try to change the location. Good luck with that, trying to get that done on your own, though. There you go. That's again, there's, right. no, there's no guarantee he's going to be interviewed. If he, if, he, if he did the application properly, submitted a lot of documentation to prove it's a valid marriage, there shouldn't be an interview. Got you. All right, that's the voice of Conrad Pollock, the managing partner at the firm PPID on immigration. Here's another question. Can a dependent spouse having a valid F2 visa expire till 2023 travel to usa if the spouse visa has been upgraded to h1b recently i'm sorry say that again can a dependent who happens to be a spouse having a valid f2 visa with an expiration date till 2023 um travel to the united states if the spouse visa has been upgraded to h1b recently good question um before doing that i'd try to go to the american consulate and change to an h4 if you can um, if the, if your spouse is no longer an F1, he's an H1, then you should not be an F2 anymore. Um, you might have a problem getting into the country. Uh, I would go to the consulate and try to get an H4, assuming you qualify for it. Okay. I'm hearing all these letters and these, you know, abbreviation and all of that stuff. And that's the reason why I say you all should just call the firm directly and speak with them, talk with them. All right. Schedule that phone consultation with an attorney. All right. Here's, um, I think we have one more here. I am a J-1 holder. I am currently in the USA. I'm trying to figure out how to change my visa to B-2. How do I do this? You have to fill, you have to fill out an application to change your status to the, to, and submit it to the USCIS. Uh, you need to demonstrate that you've been in valid J-1 status. I need to demonstrate that you'll be in valid B-2 status when the time comes. Um, you have to submit the forms and, and do the application. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have the time or the ability on, on, on the air here to go into the entire processing of the case. Uh, if you like, you can give us a call. We can help you out with it. There you go. And uh, let's go with this one here now. Once again, folks, the number is 844-774-3529. My mother filed for us in F3 category. I got approved. I-130 in March. Got my NVC number, NVC number and online. Set up a waiting... And, and by the way, I, I apologize. I have to decipher what they're actually writing here. Some of it is in Patois. Div Let me start all over. My mother filed for us in F3 category. I got approved I-130 in March, got my NVC number and online set up waiting for my case to be current. The question is, my mother got a chronic illness and had to be hospital hospitalized and had to be switched on state medical care. And she's now unable to work. So SS and disability was filed for her. 
I do have a sponsor for my case. Will this affect the case at all? I want to expedite my case because of her illness. Can I do that? F3 means citizen applying for a married son or daughter over 21. Right now, immigration's working on cases like that that were filed in 2009. She didn't mention when she filed her case, so it's hard to say you know, when she's going to be eligible or not. Uh, right. The mother's situation could affect her case. Yeah, it depends on when it's going to be done. Um, I don't know when it was filed, so I don't know when she's going to be able to finish. Like I said, they're up to 2009 right now in terms of cases. So that's the, that's the best I could tell her. And when I say they're up to 2009, that means she had to file the original I-130, the original visa petition before that date. Right. That means they're working on they're working on cases that were filed in 2009. So if she filed after 2009, uh -huh. then her priority date is not current. She has to wait for her priority date to be current. The fact that her case has already been approved, though, and it's at the NBC, tells me she probably filed maybe not in 2009, but she might have filed in 2010, 2011, so she's getting close. Uh, but the uh, income issue may be an issue. Yeah. 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 Um what if her mom dies? Well, it depends on where this person is. If she's outside the United States, that the if her mom dies, that petition approval gets revoked as soon as the consulate finds out. She can try to reinstate based on for humanitarian reasons. Uh, very difficult to do in normal times these days. Pretty pretty difficult, exceedingly difficult. All right, so no one can step into the shoes of the mom if that happens. Outside. Uh, if she's outside the United States. If she's in the United States. Possibly, but if she's inside the United States, she has other issues because uh, she's not going to be able to adjust her status in the U.S. She's been here illegally for a long time, no doubt, if she's here. Gotcha. The number is 844-774-3529. This show is about immigration and personal injury. You heard the attorneys, Nelson Madrid and Conrad Pollock, on immigration answering those questions. Um, the number, once again, 844-774-3529. The show is also about personal injury. You heard the case handler um, giving his testimony on Tuesday, um, you know, right here. And of course, he's a very proud man for what it is that he's doing for a lot of people who have been treating him like family and he's treating them like family. So Adam, I'm, I'm gonna let you conclude for us on the personal injury side. Listen, uh, you just don't know when you're gonna need us. That's, that's the point we, we try to make. We do this show uh, not because you're listening to it with, and sitting at home with a broken leg and not knowing what to do. It's all about being prepared. And these days, uh, you know, it's hard to know who to trust. And thankfully, this community has been trusting me for uh, 17 years. Uh, I feel like I've always done a, a really good job at keeping the clients informed. Um, and ultimately, at the end, uh, very, very happy with the result. Uh, we certainly do treat our clients like family here, and it is all regardless of immigration status. I, I can't even count, really, how many uh, individuals we've helped that are at a status that didn't know where else to turn, that were scared to even call the police when they got into that accident. Uh, and instead, they called me. We walked them through it. We've helped um, dozens and dozens of those individuals. Uh, adjust their status here, uh, pre extend visas. Uh, we really do some incredible work here. And although we can never guarantee a successful result, if you want to put your family in the best possible position for success, you'll take this number and you'll call it when you need us, if you need us, because we will be here for you. 844-774-3529, 844-774-3529. Seven seven four three five two nine. All right. I remind me to ask you on our next show, Adam, about people. Let's say someone has a settlement. Maybe you can just answer it. Uh, let's say someone has a settlement with you and they have an outstanding judgment. How does that get handled? Yeah. Well, listen. It, it, it's something that we have to deal with. We're actually dealing with it right now. We have a judgment. Uh, one of our clients has a judgment of like thirty eight hundred bucks for a um, for a credit card that they overextended years ago. And now their bank account's frozen, so we can't deposit that check into the bank account. So we're going to now work with the client and uh, and, and try to reduce that or, or pay it off. And, and I'm happy to do it. Listen, if it's a few phone calls, I look at it as part, part of my service. I'm your attorney. But if it's something more than that, we have to go to court. You know, obviously, we'll have to make other arrangements. But, you know, we don't nickel and dime our clients. Mm -hmm. Come here. You need our help. 
we're going to do everything we can to, to help you at as little cost to you and your family as possible. And that's across the board. You just got to trust us. And I know there's an expression when a lawyer says, trust me, you should run the other way. But in this particular case, you should only be running one place. And that's 225 Broadway on the third floor. Well, you have never failed me. You didn't fail my mom. You didn't fail a lot of people that I know. So I want to say thank you, Adam. Adam Handler, ladies and gentlemen, the case handler, AKA the shark. If you get hurt in that accident, call him now, 844-774-3529. And remember, schedule your phone consultations with one of the attorneys in the capacity of personal injury, immigration, family law, criminal defense, you know, real estate and business law, and much more. I am David Squeeze Prior results do not guarantee similar outcome. And yes, this has been an attorney advertisement, and it's brought to you by the law firm Pollock, Pollock, Isaac, and the Seacoat. Thank you all so much for watching. 844-774-3529. Have yourself an amazing Tuesday.